in the afternoon tomorrow. So expect some showers and storms overnight, first part of tomorrow. Then in the afternoon, just a slight chance in the forecast. First thing in the morning, temperatures will be in the 60s as you head out the door with a few showers. 62 in Westchester, Fairfield at 62, Independence at same. Tomorrow, clouds early, some sun later, chance of showers and storms really all day and a high of 80 degrees. Here's my extended forecast. Then as we get into Wednesday, I've got more sunshine. And into Thursday, the first day of fall, 623. Grab your party hat now. Into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I've got almost summertime weather coming back in the middle 80s and a chance for some storms. Now, let me swing it over to a man who I actually ran into at the Bengals game yesterday. And when I did, I said to myself, I got some pretty good seats. Here's Dennis Jansen. <laughs> yeah, he was seated next to Julie. Best seat in the house. Uh, you know, uh, he preaches about the hazards of overconfidence all the time. And then again, Bengals coach Marvin Lewis also believes that if you prepare well, expect to win. The national media weren't at those meetings. Well, I think before the game, uh, people didn't feel like we'd beat the Minnesota Vikings. And I can't figure that out. You know, this is the NFL. And uh, any team you go out there and you play good football, you'll win. If you don't, you'll get beat. And that's the way it goes. No one except the Bengals were prepared for the quick start Sunday, least of all the Vikings. A 70-yard touchdown pass from Carson Palmer to Chad Johnson set the tone, if not perhaps a higher standard. We can't sit back on our laurels and, and be fat and happy about what we've done. We've got to keep working because what got us here is, is hard work. And in order for us to beat this team, we've got to work our butts off this week and get ready for, for the Bears. Do you think there's any chance of you breaking the 20 catch game streak this weekend? <laughs> this weekend? Yeah. I think, you got, I think you got your work cut out for you, but it can happen. That was Chad Johnson asking the question. The enthusiasm makes a difference for fans. Trust me, fewer people up and down from their seats going wherever, and the edge it gives those on the field is certainly palpable. 2 0 tie with the Steelers for first in the division. Pittsburgh hosts the losing Patriots next Sunday, while the Bengals are at Chicago. The Bengals' next home opponent, the Texans, fired offensive coordinator Chris Palmer today and inserted offensive line coach Jen Joe Pendry. Under Palmer, the former Browns head coach, Houston was last in the league in offense. The hurricane damage to the Superdome makes for a new wrinkle in our Monday night football offering. We're featuring a doubleheader as the New Orleans Saints, homeless since the hurricane, play their first home game at Giants Stadium. That kicks off at 7.30 to be followed by Washington at Dallas. Jeopardy fans might want to set their VCRs for the game show. It airs at 2.35 a.m. In case you missed it Saturday, there was a milestone worth re-mentioning. The Newport Central Catholic Breds defeated Holy Cross 48-7, the 293rd career win for Breds head coach Bob Schneider. Holy Cross coach Bruce Kozarski presented him a game ball on the occasion of him becoming the winningest coach in Kentucky high school history. Unbeknownst to the unassuming coach, Newport prepared his own tribute, which they sprung on him this morning. A plaque commemorating the milestone win was among the tributes presented to the veteran coach. His seniors likewise took note of the occasion. They presented him with a signed Mr. Newcath poster. He's earned that name, no doubt, having devoted 40 years to the school and its athletic programs. 40 years of long time as you are well about uh, three and some of your lifetimes. And uh, there's been a lot of good people, a lot of good coaches, a lot of good players. And uh, I am very appreciative, most of all, for the opportunities that I've had to be here. Congratulations, Coach. Great man. The Reds are off today, many of them participating in Marty Brenneman's charity golf outing. Marty honored before tomorrow night's game uh, on his induction to the Radio Hall of Fame. Sean Casey was examined here today by Dr. John Brandon. He's a spine specialist who weighed in on the Friday night collision with the Pirates Umberto Cota in Pittsburgh. He concurred it is a grade two concussion. He's been cleared for light physical conditioning. The Reds' 2006 home opponents will include the Indians, White Sox, and Royals, and they will host the Cubs in the season opener Monday, April 3rd. That's it for sports. We'll be back right after this. This portion of the news is brought to you by Lexus. Some like things warm. Others cool. Which is why the Lexus ES is available with heated and ventilated front seats and dual zone climate control. So at least in one place.